Hey, this is Dan Palanchar, Senior Solutions Consultant with School of Sheets Solutions Consulting. And today I'm going to be answering a question from the Smartsheet community. Now we have a user who is trying to get data into a sheet via a form. And by doing so via this single form entry, create a new line item on three separate sheets. So this person is saying, I'm not able to create a line item in multiple sheets with a single input form. Am I missing something? It is not really exist in Smartsheet, experts please advise. So uh, technically speaking, this is not inherently possible. However, there is a workaround in which you can do something like this and I'm gonna show you it. Uh, long story short, if you use a copy row automation, you can get the entry into your first sheet and then you can automatically copy it to really as many sheets as you like. So I would created uh, this very simple sheet here, called it random sheet and there is a form associated with it. So if we open up this form, I'm gonna call it a customer quote form, just very fictitious. So my name is Dan. Somebody would be filling out this form to go into your sheet. And then it would flow into the sheet. So we'll go back here and in just a moment, all right, there it is. So here we go. Now, uh, something you can, something to tell you about forms is that any form is only gonna be associated with a single sheet. Um, it's not possible, as we said earlier, to get a form entry from one sheet based on the form itself to go into multiple sheets. So I've created two copies of this sheet, as you can see up here, random sheet two, random sheet three, and now what I'm gonna do is build an automation that will allow our next form entry to populate these sheets as well. Um, this could potentially be useful if you had additional information on these other sheets that you do not want in your first sheet, whether it's for some type of um, security reasons or simply for work management, uh, workflows, things like that. And regardless of this particular user wants this functionality, so let's show them how to do it. So what we're gonna do is go to automation and then uh, we're gonna create a workflow and I'm gonna call this copy new form entries. Now we wanna do when rows are added. So this is only gonna be for new rows coming in via the form. When any field changes, so this will allow the workflow to run no matter what happens, just so long as any new row has come in. And we're going to copy rows you can also move rows, the difference being moving the row will take it off of one sheet, put it to another. Copying the row will retain that information on your original sheet and also put it onto whatever other sheets. So now you just uh, select the sheet that you want it to go to. I'm gonna put it onto, I actually have two random sheets. This is the one we want. And we wanna go, we want this uh, to copy to multiple different sheets. So we're gonna create a little chain here, a second copy row and we're going to send this to random sheet three. We'll save that and we are good to go. So now we just need to test this out. Okay, let's open up our form. I would like some work done. Let's submit this via the form. Good, new data coming in, new lead, something every business loves. All right, here is Joe's entry. And let's see what happens over here. Looking at random sheet two, we can see Joe's entry has come in here. And on random sheet three, Joe's entry has come in here as well. So perfect, uh, that's exactly the functionality we want. Something else to know is that the way this automation is built, um, technically, if somebody was to come in here and type some gibberish type of, you know, some type of error into the sheet, this is still gonna copy as well to the other sheets because it's a new row. So if we come over to your random sheet two, it'll maybe take a second. There we go. So this comes over here. So this might be something that you want to protect against. So I'm gonna show you a way to do that First, let's delete, if I can get around my recording controls. All right. 
let's delete this erroneous row. Oh, wait. From our three sheets. And let's come back here and put together a mechanism to kind of protect. So we want to only get form entries to come in. So I'm going to make a checkbox column called form entry. I'm going to lock this. And I'm going to hide it. And now I'm going to go into the form. And I'm going to add this as a hidden field. And I'm going to automatically check it. So what's going to happen here is, since it's a um, hidden field with a default check value, any form entry will come in with that box checked. Now if we go to our automation, we can add a filter where the form entry box has to be checked. Let's save this. So, if you come in here, or if somebody comes in here, say it puts uh, some erroneous data, whatnot, this is not going to be checked because you know it's a locked column. You might have noticed I did lock the column, so only an admin level user would be able to um, go in and check this box. And if we come over to our other sheets, we're not seeing any data copy over. And you can further validate this because if you look in your activity log, you can see. Um, rows being copied to other sheets. So if we filter this out and look at the automation that's been going on. Rather, not the automation, the uh, row changes. Um, so the last row is copied at 145. That was from yeah, 148. And notice that it's after row insertions, be a form user. I've inserted this row up here and there's no uh, row being copied over. However, if we go and enter this via the form, we will see that it will copy over now because our kind of backend system is controlling how our data is moving around. So our new form entry is coming in, and if we unhide this is now checked because this has just been instituted and due to that when we go over to this sheet Mary's job has come in here and also has come in here so this is uh, the way that you would get one form entry to populate multiple sheets uh, technically speaking you could also generate reports to get different views of your data from multiple sheets um, that's pretty common if say you know, maybe you have a larger business and you have different departments that need visibility into only certain jobs. So maybe like some of these rows would be applicable to your sales team. Some would be applicable to your product development team. You could take, uh, you know, make two different reports that only show the jobs associated with those teams. So long as you had some type of column in here that um, shows which row applies to which team. Um, however, this is how you would do it with sheets. Um, you can do things with reports as well, so the nice thing about Smartsheet is there's a lot of different ways to solve your problems. So hopefully this uh, video was helpful. If you liked it, please go ahead and click the like button. You can subscribe for more helpful Smartsheet tutorials. And if you have any questions for things you're working on, please leave a comment with what you'd like to see, and maybe I'll make a video for you. Thanks.